What's up guys, this is Caruso from Caruso's Gaming and Reactions and I'm back with another video. Uh, this time I'm going to be reacting to Bill Burr, No Reason to Hit a Woman, How Women Argue. And it's from the special, You People Are All the Same. Haven't seen that special before, but I promise probably after I look at these clips, I'm probably going to look at the entire special uh, in its entirety just because I love Bill Burr. Now, this is a risque subject, okay, um, woman beaters, uh, there's nothing good about that, not at all. So, let's just see what Bill Burr has to say, I'm sure that it's going to straddle that line of, you know, kind of weird and awkward versus, you know, he's making a lot of sense. So, let's get into the reaction, this is a long video, so, but it's got a lot of views, so. Let's uh let's uh let's check it out. Three, two, one, let's go. No, we have these huge battles. You know what the maddest she ever got at me was? One time she was watching this show, it was like a poor excuse for the view, and they started talking about domestic violence, right? For the nine millionth time this year, they're talking about domestic violence. Just in case, you know, you didn't get the memo. You know? Evidently, you know, just some people didn't get it. It's not okay to slam your wife's head into the cupboard drawers. No, Bill, because she didn't dry the can opener off God. properly. You know? Goodness. It's gonna fucking rust, right? How do you not know not to do that shit? Do they really have to keep talking about it? Uh, who, who, it's like wife beaters watching for. Oh, fuck! Ah! Oh, now I get it. Ups a daisy, sweetheart. Here we go. There you go. Oh. Good lord. So at the end of the hour, they come to the logical yeah. conclusion. They're like, there is no reason to hit a woman. There is no reason to hit a woman. And I was just like, really? I could give you like 17 right off the top of my head. You could wake me from a drunken stupor, I could still give you like nine. Dude, there's plenty of reasons to hit a woman. You just don't do it. But to sit there and suggest that there's no reason Dude, the level of ego behind that statement. What are you, levitating above the rest of us? You're never annoying? <laughs> Women, how many times have you thought about slapping your, your fucking guy in the head this week? Every day. There you go. Yeah. Every day. You didn't do it, right? Oh, dude, it drives me nuts. There's no reason. There's no reason. Really? No reason? How about this? You marry a girl, you fall in love, you buy her a house. You go to work every day, paying off the house. You come home one day, she's banging the next door neighbor, hands you divorce papers. You got to move out, sleep on a futon, and still pay for that house that she's going to stay in. No reason. <laughs> I'm not saying you should do it, but there's plenty of fucking reasons in that arc of a story. Lord, come on, man. All right, that was a hypothetical. Yes. Gracious. You want an actual story? I'll give you one. I'll give you one. All right. I fucked up my foot playing drums, trying to get my bass drum foot as fast as uh, John Bonham's, because I figure that's a good thing to focus on. 43 years of age, never married, no kids. Why? I figure this, this is going to lead me to the light, right? <laughs> this, this is what I need to do. <laughs> really? So I don't know what I did. I, I felt like after I, I played for like an hour and afterwards, I felt like literally like John there was some Bonham. midget stabbing me in the bottom of my foot, right? Like I had lightning you coming out of the bottom of my be foot. That good. So I did the typical guy thing. I'm like, I'm not going to the hospital. I'll sleep it off. I'll be fine, right? Next morning I wake up, my foot's even worse. And I got to walk my crazy dog. <laughs> so I'm like, I can't do it. My foot's killing me. So I wake up my girl. I go, sweetheart, sweetheart, can you do me a favor? Can you do me a favor? Can, can you walk the dog for me? Can you uh, just take the shift? You know, I'll do your afternoon shift. Can you just do me the song? Can you do this for me? And she's just like, oh. You know, I had a late, late night last night. I'm tired. I have a big day. And I just go, fuck it. <laughs> she goes, what do you mean, fuck it? It's like, why can't you just say no? Why do you always gotta like waterboard me with like a 20 minute explanation that eventually winds its way around to go fuck yourself? <laughs> just say no. So I'm just limping out of the room. Whatever, go back to bed. You got a big day, right? <laughs> So now I'm like limping down the street. I got like Tourette's. Fuck, fuck, you bullshit. Dogs walking next to me. And I gotta admit, I got a little childish. Oh my god. I did. I got a little childish. You know, I was just thinking about my relationship. I'm like, this, this is the relationship I'm in. You just gonna do whatever the hell you want to do, all right? And fuck me. Fine. I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want to do. I feel like listening to my iPod on full blast 
walking around the house. That's what I'm gonna do. So that's what I did. Turned it all the way up, and I just, I, my whole plan was just to walk by her like I didn't even know her. That was it. She came down the hall, I just ghosted her. Just walked right Ghost, past her. Ghosted her? <laughs> just trying to piss her off. And I gotta tell you something, work like a charm. Work like a charm. Yeah, hung my coat up, turned around. By the time I turned around, she was already yelling at me. But the music was so loud, not only could I not hear her, it actually looked like she was singing the song that I was listening to. Ah! Ah! It's one of the highlights of the relationship. I've been in that situation before. Now what female, though. It's like, whatever, I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone. But I'm going on to the computer, right? I'll explain later. So I look later. over and I sit down, and unbeknownst to me, she's like, no, we're going to talk about this right now. Comes out, poof, and slaps the headphones off my head. I got a big, I got big ears. It fucking hurt. So I'm like, honey, leave me alone. I don't want to talk about it. Put the headphones back on. She comes right back up again. Poof, slaps them off a little harder. This time they spin halfway around my head. Caveman DNA starts coming up. Talking through my teeth. Caveman honey, DNA. leave me alone. Don't want to talk about it, right? Put them on third time. She comes up. Poof, slaps them right across the room. And I snap. I'm like, fine. You want to have the fight? Let's fucking have the fight. She's like, we will discuss this later when you calm down. Oh, no. Oh, right there. I just wanted to roll her up on her yoga mat and stuff her behind the couch. Just leave her there until she got thirsty. Come on, let me out of here. I, I have a spin class. You've made your point. This is, this is ridiculous. No, that's the thing. Really is, that's the thing. I, I hate that saying there's no reason. Obviously, I'm not saying to hit a woman, you know? But saying there's no reason, I think that's crazy. <laughs> When you say there's no reason, that kills any sort of examination Awkward. as to how two people ended up at that, at that place. If you say there's no reason, whoo, you cut out the buildup, you just left with the act. How are you going to solve it if you don't figure it out? Look how awkward it is in here right now. <laughs> I said you shouldn't hit a woman. I'm just saying, it's how come you can't subject. ask questions? You can only ask questions about what the guy did. You can never ask about the woman. Why is that? Why is that? What is that? What is what is answer? I don't know what's going on, guys. Turn right, me. What does that mean? Are you the idiot who got up halfway through the special during the bit and you're like walking around like I'm not fucking taking a special here? Nah. What's wrong with you? That's what's one thing you do not want to do. Is fucking had to ignore all of that and now you're gonna like Burke. yell out and not only that, yell something that makes no fucking sense whatsoever. Answer him. Answer him. I know what she was saying. Every fucking special I do, there's always one. <laughs> always right down the fucking middle. <laughs> Talking about hitting women, sweetheart. And I think you just added another reason. Jesus fucking Christ. You love this. I'm not even in a relationship with her, and she's fucking nagging me. Look, I understand hitting a woman's a bad thing, okay? Well, how come you can't fucking ask questions? I just don't understand. Like, if I got bit by a rattlesnake, wouldn't you guys have some questions? All right? How did it happen? Did you not see it? Were you fucking with it? How did this snake get so mad it almost killed you? Firemen put out a fire, they don't just drive away afterwards, they sift through the debris. How did it start? Here's an oily rag, right? Look, I realize I'm coming off pretty ignorant right about now. I realize that. <laughs> oh my Let me extend an olive branch then, okay? I realize that there's some animal guys out there, okay? Horrible guys, you know, have a rough day at the factory, come home, tuna casserole, and just start swinging, all right? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that those people don't exist. I realize they exist. They should be buried underneath the prison, okay? So if I can admit that, ladies, can you at least admit that every ass kicking doesn't just fall out of the fucking sky? <laughs> really? Even hockey has two minutes for instigating, right? They understand that some back and forth happened before that shit, you know? You know what it is? It's every case is handled like that Rihanna one, where they just say, the guy's a piece of shit, fuck this guy, blah, 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 send him to jail, and then they never ask anything about that. You know, I'm not saying he should have done it, but I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying, dude, in your heart of hearts, 
What do you think was going down before that happened? You think she was just sitting there going, oh my God, Baskin Robbins, you want to get some ice cream? He just enough space for people to think that he's <laughs> Baskin Robbins. You know? What do you think? Maybe they were having some epic end of the relationship fight and some crazy shit was being said. Maybe she was screaming in his ear some crazy female shit like, oh, fuck all your friends, I don't give a fuck. Maybe that's why I sell more albums than you, motherfucker. That might have did right? it. Yeah. To be fair, she could have just been sitting there going, I need a tissue. Do you keep those in the glove box? Oh, my God, I'll take my album. I'll take my album. <laughs> now, fuck that, because you know what it is? They never address how women argue, which I think is a core of a lot of that shit. You know, and I gotta tell you something, man. Like, I never knew how women argued. But after 20 years of losing every significant battle in a relationship, yeah. I finally figured out how they argued. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm starting to turn this franchise around. <laughs> I have begun a winning tradition. This is how they argue, as far as I can tell. All right, if they're right, they argue the point. And they stay on point and make sure you stay on point until you're down on your knees apologizing, begging for forgiveness. All right? No problem with that. Totally respect it. But here's the thing. If they're wrong, they go rogue. They go off-road. <laughs> they start thinking of shit you're sensitive <laughs> about. Maybe you don't get along with your dad. And I in their know. head, they just start concocting this evil statement. <laughs> totally designed. This desperate Hail Mary attempt <laughs> to make you so fucking mad, you just call him a cunt what it is and cunt trumps all the bullshit they did to start the argument now it's not about that well that's no reason to call me a cunt and then that's it you're in this room now right <laughs> my girl knows my big thing is my big fear in life is to be that dude who grows old you know grows old alone has like that basement apartment just screaming up at the younger couple turn it down that isn't music so I noticed that anytime she was losing a fight, out of nowhere, she'd just be like, well, that's why you're just gonna grow old and be alone. Then I'd, I'd lose my shit. The next thing you know, I'm in the kitchen washing dishes for the ninth fucking time in a row. This is what the argument was about. I was so right, what happened? So if you learn anything from my ignorance tonight, just know this, next time you're in a battle with your beautiful woman, your, your wife, girlfriend, whatever, and they start out of nowhere, Okay, you're winning and they just start saying that crazy shit out of nowhere. Just know in that moment you've won the fight, okay? <laughs> all right, don't get mad. Bob and weave, slip all of that shit. Maybe because <laughs> yeah, you got a little dick, just let that slide. <laughs> Stay in the pocket of the argument. Okay, it's over. The argument is over, you've won. Just take a knee and run out the clock, all right? <laughs> yes, lean on the ropes, let them punch themselves out. And then in the end, you throw this psychology right back at them. Well, maybe we should discuss it later when you calm down. Yeah. And they won't hook up with you for a couple of days. Who cares? Who cares? You rub one out. Rub one out like a man. It's a champagne of victory. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh. <laughs> Woo, that's a lot to unpack. Bill Burr, man. Uh, women do have some fire arguments. A lot of times, the reason why it's like that, and I can try to explain this a little bit. The, well, first, let me explain. I was in an argument with a guy at my job, and the glass, there's this really thick ballistic glass in between me, the vault that I work in, and the, the rest of the building. Um, so the only way to communicate is through like a little box, like a little voice, you know, communication system. And I left the the uh, talk button on and I was so pissed off because I was, you know, uh, back there loading trucks and stuff when I wasn't supposed to. So I just started cursing. I was mad as hell. So I was cursing everybody out. The whole building could hear me <laughs> while I was doing this. So then... <clears throat> I realized the squawk was on, so I turned it off, and then the, they came back on from the other side. Oh, so you want to do something there? So now we're arguing through the communication, just looking at each other through the glass. Neither one of them could get to each other because they don't have access to this side of the, you know, to the vault. And just like I don't have access to get out, we're actually locked in. So I was just sitting there yelling through the glass, so what you want to do? What you want to do? It was crazy. It was a stupid argument, but it just reminded me of that. 
But yes, in terms of women arguing, women, the reason why they do that, uh, if a, uh, a woman cuts below the belt, is because they're more emotional than men are. More emotional. So everything that they're putting in it is all emotion. So if they feel like they can't hurt you or physically get to you, the best thing to do is mentally get to you. So the only way they can strike out and hit you is mentally. So they might strike at you and say, you got a little dick or, you know, that's why you ate my ass. God forbid they say that. But, you know, just stuff that sh they shouldn't say. And normally they're more apologetic about saying that stuff in the first place. So, But, you know, yes, this was an incredible, incredible clip. I loved it. And if you guys like my reaction to it, smash the like button, subscribe, and share. I'm Caruso from Caruso's Gaming and Reactions. And we'll see all of you wonderful people in the next video.